so I'll just take you through a couple of things that we kind of work on, maybe on the office side of um, being a construction engineer. So, <clears throat> like here on the left, I'll have my, we'll have our model. So, what the, so for the model, <laughs> so when we look at the model, we're doing this thing called MAP coordination, which is mechanical, electrical, and plumbing. So basically, we have all the different sub trades modeling all their work. And then we import our architectural and structural model to make sure there's no conflicts with ceilings, doors, and all that kind of stuff. So kind of coming out here, here's kind of a look at the model. Go all the way down here. So this is what it looks like for the whole building. Kind of cool. So if anybody doesn't know how a tower can be built, this is this down here. These are called piles. It's essentially small little columns get to, that get drilled hundreds of feet into the earth. So this is what the actual building is sitting on. So yeah, here's the building here. So when you look at MEP coordination, you're kind of looking towards what is happening in the ceilings of the units. So here you can kind of see all these pipes are modeled in with the ceilings. You can see if there's enough space in the ceilings. Um, this kind of gets into the guts of the whole building. All right, but now we're going to start our day on site just to see what's going on out there, if any of the workers have any questions, things like that, and just kind of get a gauge of what the project is starting out the day like. So here we go, let's walk out to site. Come along. So yeah, being outside in the field really helps you get a grasp of where the job is at and just what, what is going on and if there's any problems, you can help solve it right then and there. So in the beginning of my career, I'll be out in the field for like my entire day and then come home, not come home, and then go back to the office to do all my paperwork. So out here is where all the action is at, so that's the place where you're going to learn the most and um, it's where it's the most fun too. So this is where all the action is, right here in the field. So here is what I like to call my Neapolitan slab edge, but essentially what we did is we tried a different types of concrete preparations for our waterproof coatings and we did a series of adhesion tests um, on the coatings to make sure that they would stick to the building. So these are the kinds of things that we typically get to do um, or in like preparation for the different jobs. Just to make sure that the way we prep the concrete is good enough for the coating so we don't have any sort of waterproofing issues later on down the line. So this is our shoring for the project and basically this is what holds up the slab above when we try to pour the concrete slab above there. Um, so basically this is the system that we're using um, to hold it all up. So you have to make sure that all the proper engineering is done on this to make sure that it can hold the proper loads not only of the slab but of any other loads on top of the structure like when we, um, like all the equipment that we use to place the slab, all the people, things like that. So a couple of cool things here, right, so this is typically what they'll use. So when we pour the concrete slabs, they'll test and they'll put uh, concrete in these cylinders and they'll make sure that we're hitting the proper strengths uh, when we pour the concrete for our mixes. So this will belong to the inspector on the job. <clears throat> Here we have some samples of our concrete, similar to kind of what we did over there uh, with the adhesion tests. We just want to make sure that our coatings are sticking to the actual concrete mix that we're pouring. So here's some little samples for us that we can do stuff with. Here we have a stack of rebar. So when you're working as a construction engineer, a lot of times you'll, oh my God. A lot of times you have to check. So here you'll have the tag to show you where this rebar is going. And you wanna make sure that you're putting it to the right slab and that it has the right length and things like that when you go and install it. Hello? 
Oh, okay. Yeah, I'll be right there. Yes? I was just there! I was just outside! Yeah, okay, fine, I'll be right there. Okay, bye. Hello? The model unit? Alright, yeah. Yeah, no, yeah, no, you're there. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm good, I'm good. Yeah, that's fine. Alright, goodbye. Alright, so welcome to the model unit. So the purpose of a model unit is usually so that the contractor, the designer, and the owner can kind of figure out and make sure that the design is executed to what they intend it to be. So here is an example of what the corridor of the building is supposed to look like. Um, actually what we're going through right now, if you come along, come along, um, you can see here, they're trying to decide between which colors they want uh, for the corridor trims, what kind of sheen they want on the paint, um, and just kind of what kind of look they're trying to go for in their corridor. Here we go. So again, mock-ups are so important in construction. It helps communicate a lot of the issues and it helps the contractor and the designer figure out any further issues that we need to hash out with each other. A good use of everybody's time and a best practice for project and a, and a best and, be, uh, and a best pack uh, and a best per, and a and a best practice for contractors. And now it's time to head on back home. Alright, it's about 6.45 right now, I just got home from work. Um, so typically I'll just spend another couple hours doing stuff for work and then I'll probably spend the next few hours after that working on my YouTube channel or doing whatever sort of thing after that. So here we go, another couple hours of work. So it's now 8.48. So yeah, I just finished my work stuff. So now I'm trying to make the decision whether or not I should work out or do my YouTube stuff. Um, so yeah, I usually use the last couple hours of the day to do something personal, whether it's yeah YouTube or fitness or hanging out with my girlfriend or something. One of those three. One is significantly more important than the other. And more enjoyable but off to do one of those one of those three things all right so it's reached 9 15 so after much deliberation I've decided that I will remain indoors and just work on my YouTube channel because health all right so realize I didn't eat yet so this is my acai bowl for dinner while I finish editing my or start editing my video that I just shot today so yeah, and it's 10.38, so still going at it. All right, <clears throat> whoa. All right, it's 11.46 right now. 
So, still editing the video, not quite done yet. Yeah. 11.45 p.m. So, so yeah, I mean, my day is kind of winding down here. So this is typically how my days have been, uh, especially recently since I actually started this channel. Um, trying to spend as much time as I can, a little bit, a couple hours after work, and a couple hours, a couple hours after work to kind of finish some extra stuff up for my own job, and a few hours after that just to work on anything for myself, whether it's you know through YouTube or through um, just health things. So that's a day. What your life could be like if you're a project engineer and if you then decide to take on YouTube to add to your plate. Um, it's a little bit of a busier day, uh, as you can see, but yeah. Hopefully you enjoyed Hopefully you enjoyed all that and you learned something or it seemed interesting. Or if you have any more questions about it, please let me know in the comments below. So as always, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe, hit the notification bell so that you can join our growing family here on YouTube. Um, I thank you so much for watching. I appreciate all the support and I'll see you on the next video.